My name is Ramsey. Welcome to the Slay the Spire Daily Challenge for the 21st of May, 2019. Uh, the character is the Defect. Chimera, the starting deck, is a fusion of three characters. Control Chaos, we start with Chaos Eye. At the start of our turn, we add 10 random cards to the bottom of the draw pile. And Night Terrors, resting at red side, heals 100% of your HP, but costs 5 max HP. So, we know what we're doing with this, right? It's Defect, it's a thick deck. We are going to be taking every copy we can possibly find of aggregate and then trying to cheat out a billion cards savvy all right which of these is the better path we get more upgrades and more question marks with this one uh both of these are on the only two elite paths so we'll take that all right yeah no i'm already drawing into my extra cards got it I could always check what's going to be in my next hand, but also, I can't really, like, that only really makes sense to do if there's something I can do about it. Turbo, void in my discard pile. Sure, put it in my discard pile. Tell you if I get there. Did not need to take one damage this turn, but ultimately figure it's a pretty good idea expedites everything and only my early cards are really reliable at all uh, no not really though finesse recycle compile driver stack and stack is eventually good just not initially good um none of these are that great these are all pretty lame Palm Drive draws a card, I guess? Hmm. Didn't know this was going to be a shop, so I didn't know I was going to have to make a decision here. Take Finesse just because it's not garbage. Rest of them mostly are. Pain and Trip. Okay, so I know where to take a Pain if I want one. All for one is actually pretty good with this deck. We don't want Consume, but we do... Want to check extra cards just in case we get another all for one. And I can take trip or all for one at this point. All for one is pretty good. Like it returns turbo, finesse, and probably zap eventually. And I can just add a bunch of zero cost cards to my deck. All for one's there, right? That's there. I almost forgot about that. I left that so long that it was going out of my short-term memory and trying to get into the long-term memory and just running up against the wall. Let me in! Let me in! And just not being let in. Thankfully, we found a way around it. I'll just take a charge battery, though. It's just a good card. Just one of those good cards. All right. So this turn, I get to reboot. Consume seems more effective, actually, in this fight. Seen amplify. Oof. Uh, all right. Well, amplify a loop, and then recurse once, I guess. Defend for a total of nothing. Force field at the very end of the entire turn. Yeah, this fight has gone absolutely dreadfully. Good finish, though. Duvidol. For each cursing deck, start each combat with one strength. Neat. Now I have more obvious reasons to add curses to my deck. The zap upgrade, of course, so that it gets brought back by all for one. More reasons to get curses just due to the fact that if you are playing... If you're playing a daily mode, getting five curses is 100 points. So it's oftentimes incentivized to do. Okay. 
Good thing I weakened the backliner because the frontliner got killed by the lightning orbs. Oh, seek out whatever is going to give me lethal here, I think. That'll do it. Bullseye leap cool headed. Yeah, I don't think I can just start adding a bunch of random cards to my deck here. I want them all to have meaning. Back of preparation at the start of combat, draw two additional cards. Neat. I want them all to have meaning at the very least for a while until I'm so far ahead of the game for some other power reason, like having more uh, accumulates in my deck. Aggregate, sorry. It's a pretty good opening turn there. Like, I would have been happier defending myself entirely, but... The alternative is nothing to sniff at. Okay, good. So we can turbo, all for one. Bring back turbo. So I could have continued going, but we already had lethal. No need to. Thunder Strike doesn't happen. Steam Barrier. I mean, Steam Barrier is just a lot of defense for a very short amount of money. Short amount of money. A uh, very small amount of investment on Omaha. Keep going. Sweet. And, like, the downside is, theoretically, that eventually that card will have been played so many times that it's not giving you much defense at all, but fine. It's okay with me. I don't play it enough times for that to actually be a concern of mine. I don't shuffle it back into my draw pile, uh, literally ever. Overclock is also an obviously really great pickup for this deck. FTL is a little bit okay. I think maybe I should take it here. As long as I'm very, very particular about the way that I play my turns, it can be useful. Awful opening turn right there. Most of our defense just went past as well, by the way, so... We'll enjoy that. Okay. Only if I immediately play all for one and then the FTL again do I manage to get another draw out of it, so... That's what I'm talking about when I was saying that I have to be mindful about the way that I play it. Didn't I already take damage in turn one? I'm not keeping perfect anyway, so... May as well set up a pretty easy lethal for me. <laughs> Damn Meteor Strike turning up and I can't play it. Pandemic every 10th attack you play deals double damage as well as a bunch of things I don't want there. Frontliner is very likely to take a turn off of hitting me in order to buff itself pretty soon, so... For that reason, I'm happy to attack everyone except for it. Because up until it does that, it's non-threatening, and on the turn that it does that, it's non-threatening, so... Perfect time to kill it. Regen, as well as... Ooh, Claw. Claw is appealing. Claw is really appealing. Claw is really appealing. Um, so why is Claw appealing? Despite the fact that I'm never going to shuffle back into Claws. It's not. I forgot about that. <laughs> My bad. <clears throat> That's probably most important to get that upgrade. Okay. FTL. Wolf 1. FTL for the extra draw. Claw strike. Turbo strike. Charge battery. Oh, what a turn we've had. So, 18 incoming damage. I'm about to take one damage, and that's going to invalidate my fight. Okay, never mind. I will use the Dex Potion in this combat. Overall, so far, it's been actually pretty good. Okay. 
Okay. Well, I forgot about the fact that I was going to be generating Frost Orb there, so it wasn't necessary. Uh, Stack is really good in this position. I think it's like aggregate throw the lightning strike back to the top of the deck, maybe? Or is it rebound stack just to make sure that I have the defense available to me next turn? It's rebound stack. So I can't guarantee that I have the energy to even play that lightning storm, and it's also not even that good right now. So I can hologram back all for one. All for one brings back FTL, Claw, Turbo, Go for the Eyes, Zap, Steam Barrier, Finesse. That's pretty good. And play the FTL so that I get to maintain the entire order of the actual turn as it's naturally supposed to be. Sweet. I kind of want to throw out a rainbow. Get a Dark Orb building up. Give us some inevitability. I mean, if we play with it, right? I was really hoping for a Plasma there, unfortunately. Did not manage to get it. And, yeah, here's... Oh, hang on. No, we actually do full defend this turn. No, wait, we don't. If I use the speed potion, we put a full defend at that turn. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Another awful one? Yeah. Now we'll make it an awful one build. Uh, I mean, two awful ones in a Sneko I build just means that I'm going to draw my cards faster. Drawing those cards faster with randomized cost. I mean, all the zero costs are unfortunate, but the all for ones bring back anything that had its cost randomized to be zero. I think we have to take the Cursed Key, though. Cursed Key, do Voodoo Doll, just get a bunch of curses. Try and make up for how badly the start went. Okay, only two elite paths. But one of them has way more upgrades than the other one, so... We'll elect for that one, thank you. Alright. Obviously, I want to start getting work on the buffed enemy. Or rather, start working on the buffed enemy to kill them. this back now. Mm, didn't hit the target I was hoping for there. Awesome. They should shatter the rest of them. Now we've just got to focus on the pen nib being on the right increment at the right time. I mean, six is as good as we can get at the moment. Fine. Uh, we'll take a pre-upgraded Steam Barrier. Great card for this deck. Um, no, none of these. Not really, I don't think. Uh, max HP is always appealing, but... There's enough garbage cards in my deck that I just need to remove them. All of those strikes in particular come immediately to mind. Duplicate a card in my deck? Sure. Uh, second copy of Claw. Uh, second copy of Turbo. I mean, we don't need all of that right now. Another copy of Wolf One actually seems like a pretty good idea. Let's do it. Could put an Wolf One in my opening hand. Not super necessary. The Overclock is really good, though. So, Overclock and remove a strike makes me pretty happy. I can actually deal damage to the enemy here. Well, it wasn't going to be possible. That said, I don't have much that's huge to deal extra damage here. It's like all for one. Uh, 
All right, yeah, I forgot about how good Awful One is for us. Oops. Just pulling back all of those cards. Maybe this claw is actually a really good idea, and I just, uh... I've been psyching myself out. Nope. Don't need any of those. Overclock getting an extra draw is absolutely incredible for us, obviously. Taking the path with the right amount of upgrades as well. Let's empty some hand out of our space. Or the inverse, you know, I'm not picky. Um... And I just got it all again. I guess Overclock could draw into Temp. Nah, it didn't. Into Turbo, rather. It could have drawn into Turbo. Mmm. I don't care as much about perfecting this elite as I do about trying to perfect another boss, despite the fact that I've already failed at perfecting bosses. Bottled Lightning upon pick up Juice's skills, so I just combat that I know but he can. Uh, the Overclock obviously makes the most sense there. Seek, great pickup too. So I should have done that in the inverse order, taken Seek and then up, uh, taken Seek and then bottled Seek, so. Usually, I do respect the ordering of those kinds of things, but there, I just made a mistake. Uh, tiny chest will pump up, gain 30 gold. You're 10% more likely to find treasure in question mark rooms. Well, we do want to find treasure in question mark rooms, obviously. Works best for us. All right. Now we even get more draw. Ha, ha, ha. I'm going to seek out the other two Wolf ones right now. Just because it seems like a great way to get damage out right now. It's just working. Gosh, it just works. And yeah, the rest of this fight is going to suck. But up until that point, good fun. Or I could just hyper beam for it. Oh, Mamori, negate the next curses you obtain. We don't actually want that at all. We'll take Claw, though. And an energy potion's pretty good for us. Shame to get Oh, Mamori, though. Because I really do want all of these curses. I mean, I do kind of want to uh, upgrade the awful ones, but I should probably just upgrade the claws because the claw comes back more commonly than the awful ones, right? By design, at least. All right, I'm not going to worry about the draw from the FTL here. Oftentimes, that ends up worrying me so much that I don't really do much. And chosen basically down. Find me another all for one. Oh my god. I didn't mean another another. Yeah, these claws are actually incredible now. Totally worth. Second turbo in the deck. Thank you. Let's even upgrade it. Having turbo and two all for ones in the same hand is so damn important to us right now. Basically, every other card needs to be cut. Mm-hmm. Turbo again, and even overclock. Turbo again. So with all that turbo, I can play out all of the cards in my hand that are just wasting space for me. Great. <laughs> oh, wee. Just trashing my entire deck. Hopefully I don't reboot at any point for any reason. Because that would be awkward. Uh, my god, I might end up one of these days just drawing through my entire deck doing this. Uh, I 
don't want to add cards to this deck at this point is the problem. Because it's just working really well already. And changing the balance of these things is a little bit of a concern. Uh, I'll take the FTL upgrade so that I might be able to eke extra draw out of it if I need it. Oh god. Well, this is obviously the turn that we go off. Seek. Ooh, what do I seek from the deck for this? What helps me with this? Those two overclocks are obviously hilarious. Copy of Claw and Go for the Eyes. Copy of FTL. Maybe it's even Tempest just as a damage payoff after I get a bunch of energy from having done this. Yeah, it's... I think it's Tempest and Claw. Oh my god. Yeah. All for one pulls all of that back, and I'll just do a bunch of damage and stuff. Turbo, turbo, all for one pulls all of that back, and let's go again. All right. Now do I just Giant Tempest? Yeah, it's just Giant Tempest this turn then. So double damage my next attack as well. Hmm. 50 damage Sunder, not bad. Only problem is that doesn't really do anything for me here. Uh, so yeah, we're going to take damage in this boss fight as well, it looks like. Fifty four plus thirteen plus uh twelve thirty twenty six twenty six twenty six on fifty four is you know what we might actually kill here. Got him! Perfect fight. Uh, Meteor Strike is a really good card for us, just in the fact that it gives us the extra energy to do a ridiculous amount of other things. <laughs> Starting each combat with an extra energy is ridiculous as well. Uh, removing two cards from the deck, that does just get a strike and uh, defend out of there. The cards that don't synergize with what we're doing right now. I guess Bash also doesn't really synergize with what we're doing right now. Nor Meteor Strike, but Meteor Strike is kind of a payoff. Removing, like, Strike Defend maybe does seem the way to make this more reliable in the early game. I don't think I need the Plasma Orbs. And I think I cycle through them really quickly, even if I do generate them. Right. Well, there's two three elite paths. One of them has more question marks, less rests, or rather fewer rests. Happy to go for that. Hmm, I can seek something out of my deck before I do anything here. So I could seek out Aggregate and Meteor Storm and try and go off this turn. Let's do it. Let's take Aggregate and the other Meteor Strike. We play Aggregate, letting us play a Meteor Strike. Okay, so I don't have a way to evoke the other one. Or evoke any orbs in order to be able to cast the other one, rather. It's okay. We'll be fine overall.
Okay. I'm going to try and kill the enemy without playing another attack. If at all that seems possible. Could just wait a couple of turns. Nope, never mind. They're attacking this turn, so I can't just wait. Oh, I can wait through this turn. It's fine. Great. Yeah, there's nothing I can even do this turn. It's fine. Um, so the reason for this is obviously leaving the Pendib open for the next combat. But I also play very, very small attacks, so it's not like the next combat is going to be incredible anyway. Um, turbo, I mean, I could try and go for the score bonus. Take turbo, have, you know, collector's bonus for it in the deck. Sure. Pretty likely to find another turbo by the end of this. Also, not unlikely to be able to combo off until the end of this entire combat here. Might be, might be. Turbo, turbo off one off one, I guess. So. Um, I probably want to use like Overclock and Seek to try and find cards. Oh, sorry, Overclock and Finesse to try and find cards for us here. So we found a Turbo and we found an Awful One and we found a Claw. Great. All of those are really good pickups for us there. So now I'll Seek and find another Awful One, another Awful One. Play a card out of the hand, get some space. And... Oh god, I didn't get Turbo back that time. That's unfortunate. Ah, this one left enough room for Turbo at the very least. And then Bash, Turbo. Sorry, bring everything back rather. Not Turbo. Turn up. You can only become Frail as well as another FTL. Sure. Gremlin Horn, whenever an enemy dies, gain energy and draw a card. More than happy to have another curse here. Uh, the curses are filling up our hand, so that can be a little bit of a concern for us. Every time, every three times you shuffle your draw power, gain extra energy. Uh-huh. Yeah, we never do that. Ever. Literally ever. At this point, it's probably just remove another defend. They're chunking up their hand as well, although they are castable, so. Is there a later shop that I can go to? There's no shop later than this one, actually, so I just take as much as I can. Uh, we'll take from scale, ancient thorn. Sorry, ancient potion. It's gonna be really good to keep us five decks in the final combat. I mean, look, I actually already basically have lethal here. There's no reason to mess around. I guess except for rolling around the pendib to the right point. Skim's pretty good. Because eventually after I played enough old ones, I just need draw the skim. Oh god. Two things already chunking up my hand, unfortunately. Uh, four cards want to come back from the discard piles, so. Fourth one. Now I get them back. Hey. Seek. This is a problem. I'll overclock first. Found another roll for one. Suspect that that might happen. Alright, I'm going to seek and I'm going to take out both turbos. Play both turbos this turn. Then Meteor Strike. Charge Battery. All for one. Bring back possibly turbos, but possibly not. Who needs them? Really? Never mind. We drew another one. That means we need them, obviously. Let's even go for the Swift Potion here. Yeah, because I strongly suspect I was going to draw into Lethal. There we go. Kunai, every time you play five, uh, three attacks in a single turn, gain one dex. And another Steam Barrier gets us one closer to a Collector's Bonus on Steam Barrier. So Steam Barrier, uh, Turbo, all for one, are all one away. All right, we need to force out as much draw as possible here. So we'll start with the FTL. 
Finesse. Overclock being brought back, it means more than using all for one right now to bring back an FTL, but it'll work. So, we know not to make that mistake again. Claw FTL for an easy kill there as well. Now the problem is most of our power cards are already passed. Mm -hmm. Best we can hope for is drawing into all for ones. And that's basically the best drawing into all for ones that you can possibly get. Specifically, he chose my attacks this turn, so the pendant would be ready. Another turbo. There we go. So, uh, collector's bonus. Mine is a steam barrier as well, video game, if you're feeling that kind of a way. I mean, or not. That's fine. It looks like overclock is going to be good enough for me. Oh, God. I like that at the very least, this deck went in a different direction. Like, it doesn't have aggregate. It doesn't have stack. It does have overclock and it does have turbo, which typically do end up in a deck like this. But it's still not entirely cookie cutter, which you possibly can end up in when you have such an enforced win style uh, with the cards that work with thick decks in defect and a modifier that makes decks particularly thick. Or a Calcum, if you want to turn with that block, gain six block. Yeah, I'll select a bunch of cards here. Uh, Impatience, Discovery, Swift Strike. Swift Strike's just free damage for us. Deep Breath is awful. Complete end of uh, how our deck runs. Lash of Steel is a great pickup. Madness, if Madness hits a all for one, that's so good. Getting a Manacy hit an awful one is so, so damn good. Uh, Panacea. Yeah, I don't really worry about artifacts. Yeah, I probably ignore the rest of these, though. Okay. Uh, is the energy to cast Madness really the problem I'm having with Madness right now? I don't think so. It's just that it randomly targets. Clock first. Go for the eyes before I FTL here. Okay, so we do have a turbo and we do have a skim in the same hand as well. So this uh, uh, this definitely finds all for ones. Then we'll turbo, steam barrier, steam barrier, skim, turbo, zap, meteor strike, all for one. Bring back a bunch of cards here. Neat. We did manage to madness uh, an awful one there as well, by the way. <laughs> That's going to get brought back by the other awful one. Lovely. Or it's not. That's fine too, I guess. This doesn't even deal 100 damage? Oh, never mind. I, it does. It got brought back. We're fine. It's very important that I deal 100 damage with a single attack here, because I suspect it's possible that no one else has. No! All for one! We're seriously only two... Well, it's 99 plus damage in a single attack, right? So we're still seriously only two damage short there. Wild. Absolutely wild. Take a hologram happily. Go for another smith. I... <laughs> That turbo actually did almost end up tripping me up. We have enough draw power here. Okay. Does feel like we basically just go for the main liner, no matter whatever. Eh, well. 
Yeah, it still really doesn't feel like the main line it can even stop us at this point, right? Like, all for one. Make sure that I remember to cast the claws. That'll get it done. And is a reward. We'll take the frozen egg. Whenever you add a power card to your deck, upgrade it. As well as nothing here that's super useful for us. All right. Final smith, sure. Let's drop that on the madness, I guess. God, I hope I don't end up with a good score. And somehow I don't feel like I'm uh, <laughs> too much at risk of that. Very pleased that the final boss here was not time eater, by the way. That would have been absolutely tragic for us. Mm -hmm. What a ridiculous amount of extra energy we were able to generate it there. All for one, everything back in the hands. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's seek an awful one and another awful one. This awful one comes back to our hand as well, by the way. Gonna play that one first. And this one to get back the other one. Thank you. Oh, the rest of the deck has to generate another orb one. God, I hope it generates another orb one for me. All right. Come on, rest of the deck. Please be good because we can actually just lose here. Okay. Serbo into overclock. I mean, this is feeling very familiar already. Late genetic algorithm. I can amplify capacitor. It's not bad. Bash and then bullseye. Getting another point of dex for us. I mean, as long as we have a defensive card every single turn, we should be fine. But, like, like we can't guarantee that. Alright, just have to reboot. Didn't want to, but had to. That does mean, by the way, all of our awful ones are pretty garbage right now. The rewards they rely on hitting are very far away from us. Ooh, good ordering there, otherwise they wouldn't have been able to do anything. Wait. All right, 30 incoming, and I get to draw one card. I get to draw two cards. I get to use turbo to get steam out. Double energy doesn't defend me. Still managed to all defend that turn using the awful one. My god, thank you, awful one. Find another awful one. No. Our loss. All right, yeah, we're not perfecting here. Damn it. Having to reboot at that time was just tragically awful for us. All right, I'm going to hologram back the zero cost off one. Thank you. For all the damage we'll get to deal here. Causing those cards just to get them out of my hand for free. Yeah. Okay, so what? We could have had a hundred more having perfected two bosses. Not a hundred more, sorry. A hundred and fifty more. hundred and fifty more, and we could have had uh, overkill as well for another, I think, just 25. 175 more. That wouldn't have even put us on the leaderboard at all. Uh, the fact that I... Ooh, hang on. No, it would have put us... I'm in a normal position. Oh, neat. 
Yeah, so we're not even that far. All right, yeah, so I could have been on the front page. Dang it. For the moment, though, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slayer the Spy. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.